Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the second Friday mail day video on my channel. If you didn't check out the first one, basically this is just stuff I've picked up on eBay over the last two weeks. Stuff that I found for a pretty cheap price. I'm not going on Luka, Optic, or Prism Rookies, or Trey Young, or whoever's big, Zion, Ja, you know. I'm not going for big stuff like that. I'm just going for stuff that I find cheap that I think uh, maybe I can flip later on for little bit more than I paid for it or stuff that I might keep because I might find it cool or stuff for my own personal collection. Last week's video did mostly consist of stuff for my personal collection but I think this week as you can see I've already kind of opened all of it up but I think this is mostly stuff that I might try to flip later on. You know I'm new to this whole investing thing so I don't even know if I'm buying the right stuff to be honest but like I said earlier, if I can't flip it later on, I do think it's cool. It's players I like, so I don't have a problem keeping it. I'm just going to slide this off camera over here so you don't see no addresses. And I'm just going to start from the top. I basically sorted this by size of the envelope. So your smallest envelope will go first. And then your biggest envelope will go last. So let's check out what I got. So the first thing up, and like I said earlier, I've already opened all these. Uh, I kind of know what's in all the envelopes, but I don't know what's in each specific envelope. So I'm kind of finding out as you guys find out. I hope this is uh, entertaining for you guys. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned that if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. We do... Uh, well, recently we started doing card videos like this, but I do a ton of sports content. So if you like sports, mainly uh, football, basketball, go ahead and take a look at what I got. Uh, probably has something you like. But So anyway, this first card is the LeBron Optic uh, from this year. I kind of had my eye on this one for quite a while. And this was at one time gone for, you know, 15, 20 bucks and... Recently, it's dropped, uh, I think I got this for three bucks, I think it was, you know. So, this is kind of the perfect example that it's LeBron and anything LeBron can kind of get hot at any point in time, you know. So, maybe I'll flip this later on, but if I don't, it's a LeBron. So, I put it in a box and every once in a while I might take it out and look at it. And one day I might still have it and show my kids who are going to know that in my opinion anyway, LeBron's one of the top players to ever play in the NBA, so figured that was a uh, low risk. Not high reward, but low risk, so. Next we have, okay, this is the Lonzo Ball base select card. Uh, I'm a big Lonzo fan, I'm a Pelicans fan. So I just wanted, uh, basically I just wanted something in with Lonzo in a Pelicans jersey. Uh, I know I got another one of these coming up later, so I'm not going to babble for too long on this one. The Kyrie got game green mosaic, uh, Brooklyn, this is just another thing that was on eBay and it was had a couple seconds, a couple minutes left and it was next to nothing, you know, so I thought it looked cool. Uh, Kyrie's obviously one of the top point guards in the NBA. He's been hurt and he ain't going to uh, be coming back to play in the playoffs in late July, but uh, just, I don't know, something that was dirt cheap and... I don't really think this will be flippable later, but I, I don't know. I thought it was cool, so. This big bulky, like, I don't know what this thing is. It's like an extra piece of paper, but anyway. Alright, this is a OG... I'm on a Wabi, I guess. I don't I mean, but uh, this is his Prism uh, rookie card. This is another one of those kind of, 
you know, low risk, potentially somewhat high reward kind of cards. Uh, kind of saw a lot of people talking about this card on uh, a Facebook group that this could potentially be a card that kind of spikes uh, once the once the league gets back going. Uh, I think he was hurt last year for the finals. I think I, I want to say he came back for like maybe a game or two, but he had been out for quite a while and didn't really play that big of a role, but uh, he's becoming kind of a bigger name for, for Toronto. So just again, another cheap pickup. All right, now we're getting into the padded envelopes with this super tough. Oh, and this one's got cardboard. I wonder if I didn't open this one before. Okay, Brandon Clark uh, Prism. This is actually just like the last uh, OG Ananawabi Toronto card. Uh, it's another card a lot of people were talking up that something that you can buy up right now that you could potentially flip for a good bit later. Uh, this one actually wasn't that cheap. This one I think was eight bucks, I wanna say, and that was actually kind of far and away the cheapest one that I can find on eBay. But uh, Brandon Clark's a great player from Gonzaga, I believe, right? Yep. Uh, obviously the Grizzlies are kind of a hot topic right now with, with Ja and, you know, um, Jackson and Clark and, you know, they got, that, that, that club's got a lot of good talent and uh, it just sucks that it's in my Pelicans division, but you can see a lot of good battles of two very young but up and coming teams over the next several years. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. And I've been to Memphis several times and it's a very nice little uh, place to visit. I really want to take in a game now. I was actually supposed to go to a Pelicans and Grizzlies game a couple of years back. And uh, we didn't make it for some reason. I want to say my wife got pregnant, so we didn't make it. But hopefully one day we'll be able to do it again. So next up. Luca Mosiak. Now I think they got yeah, they have two cards in here. Yep. So this one is the Lu uh the Luza. Luca Mosiak base and this one is a insert uh got game. I really like the Mosiak product. I haven't found a single pack of it, you know, a fat pack, a blaster box, a hanger box anything in any of my stores uh, which sucks but I really like the product I think it's gonna kind of you know not take off but become a lot more popular than it currently is uh, I think it honestly I think you already kind of see that but uh like I said at the start of the video you can't really at least I'm I don't really want to pay for a Luca rookie so Luca second year Mosiac you know just nice little card and like LeBron Luca is just an absolute monster and maybe I decide to keep this one and share it with my kids one day when by that point Luca might be in the Hall of Fame or he might be 40 year 40 years old and still playing you know ain't no telling but uh good good pick up there and I got I got these two for pretty cheap also This one's easier to get into. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is ex exactly like the Luca I just talked about. Uh, not really looking to pay Trey Young prices right now for, for his rookie cards, even though they're a good bit less than, uh, than Luca right now. But this is your... Trey Young second year prism. Uh, I was actually supposed to see Trey Young in person. 
I had tickets to the very next game that got canceled for the Pelicans uh, back when the whole coronavirus thing started. And then uh, this is a Trey Young Mosiac give and go. Just another Mosiac insert that might be worth a little something one day. All right, we got three more to go. This big old green envelope here. Okay, this is the Alonzo card I kind of mentioned earlier. This is the silver, I believe. Uh, so I've got the base and the silver. Really pretty card. Uh, I think Alonzo card market-wise and just player-wise, honestly, is kind of really becoming more popular with Zion. You know, some of the some of the alley oops that they connect on, you know, and just, and it's not even just Zion, it's Lonzo's becoming a better shooter, and you know, he's already got other skills that made him, what was he, the second overall, third overall pick to the Lakers a couple of years back. So he already had a lot of skill to work with, and uh, he got with the Pelicans, and I think the guy's name is Fred Vinson, but I mean, that dude right there is like a miracle worker when it comes to shooting. He's made. He's made uh, Lonzo a good outside shooter. Tyreek Evans became a good outside shooter. You know, there's a long list of guys that were very, very bad outside shooters that they worked with him for a little while and became actually more than just respectable, but actual really good outside shooters. Uh, next card, another My House. I'm trying to pick these up as much as I can right now because I think these are cards that are gonna kind of really become more popular in a year two years three years you know these are just awesome looking cards with the way that the background changes depending on what team you're you're looking at and I think this is my only John Morant card I believe I'm trying to think real quick and I'm pretty sure it's the only one I own uh like I said, I'm just looking forward to the NBA getting back and I can watch more Zion and more Ja and more Luka and all the guys that go with them. And this is the last pack. And this one I actually remember because I've never seen somebody pack a card like this. Uh, I mean, this is... Well, it's a, it's a Justin Jefferson um, Prism Draft Pick silver card, but they packed it in like five different, if I get the camera to focus. But they packed it in five different uh, top loaders. So, I mean, kind of cool. You know, nothing's happening in that card, right? But, uh. Justin Jefferson's a great receiver. He's with the uh, Vikings now after being a first-round draft pick. He actually, he's actually from, I don't know, 10 minutes up the road from where I live in Destrehan. Uh, so that's cool, you know. Kind of always heard about him at Destrehan High School. You know, I got some, I know some people that went to Destrehan. So looking, really looking forward to see what he can do in Minnesota with uh, an already good passing offense with Kirk Cousins and. Thielen and Dalvin Cook rushing the ball and ready for NFL to get back to. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Uh, just kind of another quick rundown. You got LeBron, Clark, Luka, Luka, Young, Lonzo, Kyrie, Onawabi, Trey Young again, Lonzo again. John Morant and Justin Jefferson. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Like I said, this is my second uh, Friday Mail Day video. I've already, <laughs> I'm already off to a pretty good start on my uh, my third one. So that probably come in two weeks. Uh, I might have another. I might do like a Saints personal collection video this coming Friday, or not this coming Friday, next Friday. Uh, but yeah, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe buttons for more content like this, uh, sports content if you like that. 
Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we post content like this. And uh, just let me know what you think of uh, these pickups and let me know if there's anything out there that is relatively cheap that I can pick up uh, and just keep, you know, if it's cool or potentially flip for a little bit later on, you know. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm feeling that day. I might decide to keep something and then a week later try to sell it, you know. I don't know, no telling, but uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, drop a comment. Uh, I would like to interact with you guys a little bit. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope to see you guys next time. Bye.